identified as a hot pick either on QVC.com or on the air, pay special attention. It's a hot pick because it's a really hot item, really super popular, and our um, our customers have always deemed it a customer favorite. Now, many of you know and love our buddy Lucinda Scala Quinn. She's at Mad Hungry on Instagram. And if you've ever watched her wonderful cooking Insta stories, you've probably seen this item because Lucinda is all about buying fresh, cooking fresh, and when she buys fresh vegetables, she washes all those vegetables. So what she'll do is she'll put them in the strainer, then put the strainer in a pot, and then she'll run water over it, like we're doing here with the strawberries. Now, you get in here and all that water will drain away because this is a strainer. It strains away right into the pot down below. Now, when I reach in here, I can pick this up and out, let the water all drain away. This is some dirty strawberries, boys and girls, because look at all the, all the dirt and the yuck that's left behind. So you're getting two pieces here. You're getting the strainer and you're going to get the mixing bowl that has this unique funnel handle that's open. And I'll tell you more about that and why that's important. So now, get this up and out of all that dirty water. We'll let that strain away. And then I'll just reach in here and turn all that dirty water out. So this is your two-piece set, your mixing bowl and your strainer. And I've got loads of colors. Let's come down front and I'll show you what I've got going on. Now, this is really exciting because we've got all your favorite colors plus a brand new color tonight that we've never featured before. Now, first I've got it for you in this gray. That's most limited. Then I've got it for you in this gorgeous blue. If you want a little pop of sunshine in your kitchen, how about some yellow? But if you're looking for the new color, it's the white one. This is brand new tonight. We've never done the white before. Beside that, I've got it for you in turquoise. And then finally, I've got it for you in the red. Now, holding on that red one for just a moment, here is a look at your strainer. And then here is your mixing bowl. Notice that the handle on this mixing bowl is open and hollow. That's by design because some of the things that you're going to do with that water, you're going to want to be able to pour them and get them into small spaces or get them drained away. Or maybe you're using this item for your cupcake batter. Now, this is genius. Mix up your, cup, your box cupcake mix inside the mixing bowl and then use your strainer, or excuse me, your uh, handle lid, or handle rather, as a funnel. And fill that about three quarters of the way full as per the instructions. And then snap it back and you're able to go to the next one. Isn't this simple? And then you don't make a mess with it. You're not having to worry about spooning it or scooping it. All this goes into the cupcake liner and you're ready to roll. Isn't that easy? And simple and perfect. Now, these containers are BPA free. They also go into your dishwasher quickly and easily. So, we're excited about that. And you're going to enjoy the two piece set. Now, this is also strong, durable plastic. So, this is going to work really nicely. There's also a silicone ring on the bottom. So, if I've got this on the countertop with some wet liquids in it, it doesn't slide all across the counter. And that's really important when you are mixing, when you're whisking eggs, when you're, whenever you're doing that kind of thing. Now, one thing Lucinda likes to do with her water. Now, if she were washing these greens, she would turn on the water here, get in here and give them a nice rinse. And then she would let that water strain away. Now, Lucinda is always very, very careful about not wasting anything, including the dirty water after she's washed her greens. So many times, Lucinda will take this dirty water, instead of pouring it back down the drain, follow me over here with the funnel. She'll go right into her plants out on her balcony or in her house. Just because it's dirty water that we wouldn't cook with or drink doesn't mean the plants wouldn't like it. So pour it right into your applied plants in your house and it works out beautifully that way. If you need to uh, wash these a little bit more, just get in there and give it another quick rinse. Lots of different ways to use this and it's customer top rated. Now, maybe you're building a frittata and we've already got our vegetables and our cheese all cubed up and in the pan. What we need to do now is whisk some eggs using Lucinda Spurtle. I'm gonna get in here, break up the yolks, use this slotted Spurtle so I can really get in here, mix these up, get these whisked together. And I'm not going to worry about just dumping this in the frittata pan. I'm going to use that handle again, that open handle that serves as a funnel. Now, once I've gotten these nice and whisked, and it looks like they've come together pretty well, then I'm going to turn this around and go right into my baker, thanks to that funnel. And this allows me to evenly distribute the eggs. Isn't that simple? Really, really fast. No splashing, no problem. And now I'll add a little salt and pepper to that, get it right into the oven. Is that simple? And never a bit of egg was lost, and it never made a mess on my countertop.
Now, let's take a look at colors again, reminding you that we've got lots of colors plus a brand new one tonight. So let's begin here with gray. I have fewer than a thousand in this gray to go around. Here's your blue. From blue, we go right into yellow. Here's that brand new color tonight, that beautiful white. Then I've got it for you in turquoise. And then red, as always, is our most popular. That's our foodie color, right? So all this is coming together quickly and easily. Now, how many of you love making a fresh pot of beans, but you start with dry beans? And your recipe will tell you to let those beans soak overnight. So what we've done here is we've let these beans soak in water, but in the strainer down inside the mixing bowl. Now I'll pick this up and let that water drain away. See how it's all draining out of the bottom? Give those a little shake. Perfect. Then my beans go right here into my pot. Now I'd like some nice stock to go with these beans. So why don't we come over here? Now, we made up some chicken stock earlier and we've got all of our, our mirepoix in there, our celery, our onions, and our carrots, as well as the chicken, meat, and bones. Pick this up, let that drain. You know what's draining out of the bottom of there? Liquid gold. That's chicken stock. That's beautiful homemade chicken stock. Now, I'm not going to miss a drop of that. I'm going to let all this drain out of the bottom. Give it a little shake. Beautiful. And then once we get all that chicken stock out of the bottom, I'm going to take all this beautiful strained stock and funnel it right into my beans to flavor the beans. Is that a neat idea? Because again, I'm not, you, I'm not missing a drop of this beautiful homemade stock. It's just perfect. And then, of course, you're thinking about, well, where in the world am I going to use this if I'm not making some of the things you've suggested, David? How many of us are making pasta? I think probably a lot of us are making pasta, at least one night a week. So this way, if you are ready to strain that pasta, you pour it in here, simply pick this up and let all the water drain out of the bottom. It's an ingenious pair. Everything about this is what you're looking for to make life a little easier in the kitchen. These are also all dishwasher safe and BPA free. Now down below is the red. Now red has been our most popular tonight. From red we move right into turquoise. From turquoise we take you shopping for the brand new white. Now that white we've never done on the air before. So we're excited to bring you white for the first time tonight. Next to that is that cheerful yellow. Then I've got it in blue. And finally, I have it for you in the gray. I have about 900 remaining in that gray. Please don't wait on these tonight. It's a nice way to begin our show with a very useful problem solution item. As we kick off three big hours of In the Kitchen with David, stay on the line. We'll get you all squared away with this and a lot more that's coming up in the show. Now, let's also talk foodie photo because I know a lot of you are anxious to see who won this evening.